Sexual sins are one of the most browsed topics on the internet, one of the most searched Christian contents online. This suggests that a lot of people are suffering from sexual sins. They want to stop, but they don't know how to stop. Research has shown that large percentage of habitual users of porn are in the church. The devil is causing a large demonic invasion in our churches today, and he is doing that using sexual traps. Before we speak about the dangerous effects pornography has on a person, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified each time we upload a new video. Many Christians who watch pornography don't know that they are promoting the pornographic industry. They are promoting the work of the devil. We are supposed to promote the work of God, not the work of the devil. By promoting this demonic works, you are supporting the endless victims that it is creating. You are sponsoring them to afflict more people into bondage. The first and ultimate problem with pornography is that harms and destroys the user. This is very serious because the person who thinks that he or she is getting some level of satisfaction from that is actually destroying themselves. In other words, you are destroying yourself by yourself. The devil is helping you to destroy yourself. You have become your own enemy. You hate what you like. I will say that again, you hate what you like. Your spirit hates it so much but your flesh likes it. Pornography allows your mind and body to be altered. It gives you false picture of sex and sexual pleasure. Those who use pornography are torn apart because they are mental or spiritually stable. God designed sex and sexual pleasure. He designed it to be selflessly expressed and enjoyed in the content of marriage between a man and a woman. Sex is to be expressed selflessly, not selfishly. Love does not sex its own. Love seeks to satisfy the desire of the one it loves. When you watch pornography, you are selfish. You seek to satisfy yourself. It takes away that desire to satisfy your spouse. Pornography will keep you bond to that false pleasure. It will steal your enjoyment in marriage and life. You will not have any desire to please your spouse because you can get pleased by watching those pornographic contents. When you keep watching pornography, it will increase your insecurities. You no more feel confident anymore because you think you are not good enough after watching those things. This is where someone who has a very nice body shape will suddenly think that they need to alter something in their body. When they watch those men in the porn videos, they get insecure about the size of their sexual organs. They start feeling insecure about the size of their sexual organs. This insecurity will drive you into thinking that all that a man or woman needs to be attractive is a big sexual organ. You begin to derive your confidence from your altered body shape instead of the word of God. The enemy is attacking your self-esteem by trying to make you look like that pornographer. You know more in yourself because you don't behave like that pornographer or your body shape is not like that porn star. When did a pornographer begin to mentor a child of God? How did we get this far? That we look at evil to learn how to be good. Pornography will bring unrealistic expectations in a relationship. Now statistics have shown that pornography is one of the cause of divorce in many homes today, although most couples hide this fact. I will prove it to you, listen. When a person begins to have increased insecurities in their marriage because of pornography, that can create friction in the relationship. But not only that, when a person watches pornography, their brain is rewired to think that that is how sex and sexual pleasure must be felt. Those informations and memories are stored in the minds. When they have sex with their spouse, they will be expecting their spouse to act like that porn star they watched. Unconsciously, they will want to practice what they had watched. When you see a person saying that their spouse is as active as they expect them to be many times, this is because they have another picture in their mind which they expect their spouse to be like that during sexual intercourse. Pornography will mess with your ideology about sex. Be careful what you are watching. Many people who started watching pornography never plan to become addicts. They just want to see how it was, but now they hooked on porn. It used to be once a day you watch it, but now most time of the day you spend it watching it. The enemy is sapping your sexual energy. He is draining your spiritual strength. When people normalize pornography, they begin to lose sense of God's holiness, purity and revulsion to sin. The Bible is clear that God hates all sin, and He has called us to hate evil and love good. We live in culture and society that loves evil. 
a society that lives to compromise the ways of God. Even this day and time, holiness is still a priority. God wants us to be holy no matter the generation. To be selfish is not holiness. Self-sexuality is idolatry and a rival to God. Our Christian growth stumps our Christian growth. A new unconscious mindset that most pornographic viewers develop is that the opposite gender is perceived as a means to achieve a desire. In other words, they are seen as toys or tools for sex. This mindset is what makes people want to use their spouse to entertain themselves or try what they watched on the porn videos just to get sexually satisfied. Pornography makes you never to truly see a person for who they are. Pornography changes your perception about other people. It makes you dishonor other people, especially women. If you have such struggle with pornography, let me state this clear that I am not here to condemn you, but tell you what this addiction is causing to your life. Hopefully, when you know the effect of that deceptive act, then you will be empowered to stop it. Pornography corrupts and compromises doctrines. On a personal level, a mind saturated with pornography experience changes physically. It corrupts your taste, desire, and capacity for self-control. It dramatically alters one's life interests over time. Pornography can affect academic outcomes, including memory. This is how much effect pornography can have on a person. We warned in the Bible about the trend of the day. We warned that many people will compromise their faith and doctrine because of the trend of the day. 2 Timothy 4 verse 3, For the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. In these last days, a lot of people have been captured by the devil using these tools called pornography. As Christians, instead of feeding our minds with such wrong content, we must feed our minds with the Word of God. Pornography erodes and undermines our minds such that the clarity of God's teaching blurs and distorts. We must listen to the Bible more often especially because we are in the last days. Don't give yourself to corruption especially by watching those content. Galatians 6 verse 7 to 8 Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. For he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. When you continue watch those pornographic images and videos you are sowing to your flesh. The end result of that is you shall reap corruption. Pornography corrupts your soul. It compromises your love. It doesn't portray true love. Pornographic video is just a person mainly a man, trying to get sexually satisfied, exacting dominance over a person most times woman. There is no love shown in pornographic images and videos. It's all about lust and how to get the flesh satisfied. Pornography shows unloving disregard to people. Mostly, the people involved in pornographic production are people who are vulnerable, they are also made in the image of God. They probably saw their bodies as a way to earn a living. They won't mind the hurt and pain they go through as long as they feed their families. Some of the porn stars which that is not the life they are living. Don't forget that they are also made in God's image. Why will you be promoting such evil? You should be seeking for ways to get many souls out of that torment. People should get delivered from that captivity because of you. In a country or a world where we have more people, especially young people watching pornography, we have a people who are potential rapists. Because pornography makes a person selfish sexually, they don't mind at what cost they get satisfied. Some of them begin to sexually molest other gender. They become serial rapists in the community. Notice that it started as just watching pornography. Now they are rapists. God still loves you. He still cares about you. Even though you are in that addiction right now, don't be afraid to come out. The devil may be lying to you that nobody understands how deep that addiction and so it's impossible for you to come out. I have a good news today, God can bring you out from that place of darkness. You haven't gone far enough for God's hands to not reach out to save you. If you are watching this, then God still has many plans for you, no matter how much you have condemned yourself. God loves you so much and so, He doesn't want you to continue to destroy yourself.